Hey everybody, welcome back to the Quest Brothers and our playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Things have changed. They've changed drastically and wildly. Uh, what, do you, uh, <laughs> what do you think so far, Joe? Well, this is patch 3, and I have certainly noticed a little less bugs so far. Uh -huh. But we've only gone through the beginner's area, so this is where the real bugs begin. Well, I guess I we'll mean, see. I mean, adventure. Yeah. <laughs> the real adventure begins. Uh, the bug adventure. So, um, yeah, basically what happened was we were forced to update. So we had to abandon our previous playthrough, which is okay. We kind of knew that was going to happen at some point. Um, so we decided to make completely different characters. And we're going to do pretty different things. Because a lot of areas we still hadn't really explored um, maybe we won't murder all the druids this time, for example. I don't know. No promises. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, also, one of the things that uh, we were we were complaining about um, in the very last episode uh, was followers not jumping um, after you jump somewhere. So you have to like micromanage jumping. And one of the one of the things specifically this patch fixed is followers jumping after you jump so you don't have to micromanage them so I, I thought that was pretty ironic that having not read the patch notes that was like our biggest gripe and it was like one of the things they did so i guess it wasn't just us <laughs> apparently not and yeah or maybe they listened to us yeah because that happened <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh so yeah so we got brand new characters and uh if you don't mind joe i'm just gonna go over mine first fine is that cool? All right. Okay. All right. So, um, we decided to go for, for different characters. I still like casters, however, so I, I went with a wizard. Uh, what I did this time, though, is I kind of... Uh, I decided to try taking advantage of the Githyanki race. So, with this race, they come with something called Mar Martial Prodigy, um, which gives them a uh, proficiency with armor... Uh, light and medium armor, also short swords, long swords, and great swords. Which means that even though I'm a wizard, I can equip armor up to medium armor with no penalty in D&D 5th edition. And I can also use long swords, short swords, and great swords. Normally wizards can't do that, obviously. Not without multi-classing anyway. Um, so I'm basically acting like a fighter. For the first couple of levels, I'm basically a fighter whose strength isn't super high. Um... <laughs> Uh, and I can like kind of cast spells and eventually as I get, you know, more into the wizard thing, I'm going to transition over to more spells, I guess. But so far it's working really well. I feel like it's a, it's, it's been a very effective character. These, these... I, I think, yeah, because usually the weakness of wizards, especially in the first few levels is they don't really have that protection and it's easy to die. Whereas yeah. usually they can become a lot more powerful as they get, as they level up, uh, and beginning is always a little bit tricky. So, best of both worlds there, I think. Yeah, exactly. So, because of the martial proficiency, um, or martial prodigy, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's working out pretty well. So, I've been more or less our, uh, when we were just quickly running through the intro, which we didn't record just because it's kind of boring. We just wanted to get through it really quickly. Uh, you know, I'm sure everyone's seen that like a million times now. Uh, and there's not really any options or choice given. It's like a... It's as interesting and well put together as it is. It is a straight line from A to B, right? Yeah, there's not really uh, many story options you can take there. So uh, you can kill a few more people or you can try to help a few more people. But really, it's it's mostly cinematic cutscene. Yeah, the only actual story option so that, that I'm aware of is you can choose to try to rescue the Shadow Priest or just to ignore her. And she'll be more or less mad at you, which really doesn't seem to make much difference. So I tried to rescue her. So if we ever do talk to her, maybe she'll mention that. I don't know. Very good. Um, also, so this is I, not Shadowheart. <laughs> no, that's what I'm talking about. Shadowheart. Oh, it is Shadowheart. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. You hate her. So we're not going to have her in our group anyway. So it's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's funny how much you don't like her, actually. Um, anyway, yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm like a... Green skin, sharp ear, Doctor Strange. I don't know if you guys can see this portrait, but I'm I'm pretty happy with how how it uh, turned yeah. out. Yeah, uh, is it your uh, gift janky Doctor Strange? Yeah, yeah. So I think uh, 
the the beard actually does a lot to uh, uh, make the Githyanki look a little bit less ugly, <laughs> <laughs> which is one thing that's kind of unfortunate. I don't know. I don't know if you can put beards on on female characters in this, but if you have a Githyanki, you should probably try because they're not very pretty. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Ha- hashtag gift jinky sex appeal. <laughs> hashtag, uh, hashtag beard check. I don't know. <laughs> beard, beard babes, babes with a beard. <laughs> beard babes. <laughs> uh, all right. So you want to go over your character, I guess? Yeah. So I chose a ranger, uh, something a little bit more range like, um, and something that I enjoy playing in the fifth edition. So I am a drow ranger with a. Crab Companion. Dun, dun, Look at that. Uh, I've got to summon him, but yeah, there he is. Oh, and he's got summon twice for some reason. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. We're, we're already finding the bugs here. That's great. Speaking of that, I have um, Githyaki Mage Hand and Mage Hand. And I, I'm trying to cast them, and it looks like uh, they, you can't have both of them out, which is which makes perfect sense that you can't do that, but it, it's a little bit too bad. That is unfortunate. Because one's yeah. one's supposed to be psionics, right? And the other one's supposed to be a spell. But I guess they're in this game they're exactly the same thing. Which makes sense. They mm-hmm. sure look the same. Yeah, uh, I mean I, I, did, I didn't know there was a difference, so So first of all, That's I'm a... gonna cast False Life on myself. It gives me seven temporary hit points, which doubles mm-hmm. my hit point pool and makes me uh, a pretty effective fighter. That is pretty significant. You actually have more hit points than I do. I do, yeah. Um, so what I'm you thinking, turd. <laughs> I know what a turd I I have, I probably have, uh, I can have heavier armor than you. I can have weapons just as good as you, man. This is like, it's pretty great. Uh, you know what, Mike, if you get, if you get <laughs> caught on fire a little bit more often, I'm not <laughs> sure why that case would be. I'm just glad that you don't have the ability to cast fire. Well, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> it's gonna happen <laughs> um okay uh and uh which way do you want to go i kind of just in general um i want to go i don't want to go to the druid concave first that's what we did last time in our playthrough yes whether by purpose or accident um yeah let's uh let's maybe wait and uh check out some other areas first yeah okay cool um don't go that way. If you go that way too far, you'll find Shadowheart, and you know oh, that God, you don't yeah. want that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Shadowheart this way. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, oh I, yeah, nope. careful! Don't get too close. I'm I'm almost close enough to proc Shadowheart. Oh God! <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm avoiding her. Don't worry, we're okay. Oh God! Uh, uh, well, there's some monsters. Why didn't they attack me? That was nice of them. Oh yeah, that does seem nice. Where are you at? Um, look at the map, you ho. <laughs> uh, oh, man. No, oh, careful. You're going, okay. You're going close to Shadowheart. Be really careful. Uh, yeah, I see her. I see her. I, uh, okay. Got, got, got a glimpse. Um, I did read in the patch notes, though, that they also did some work to make some of the NPCs less unappealing. So Shadowheart might be less emo. Oh, now they're attacking. That's nice. Okay. Hmm. Okay, but so then Joe... is she really Shadowheart? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, so Joe and I made an agreement that to make combat more understandable or more comprehensible for us and also for anyone who's watching this, our viewer, <laughs> um, we are going <laughs> thanks, to... Thanks, viewer. <laughs> yeah, thanks, viewer. <laughs> um, we are going to try to take turns in initiative order. Even though the game allows us to act at the same time, we're still going to try to uh, take turns. Uh, if that right. makes any sense, right? So yeah, no, it it seems to work out uh, pretty well so far. So yeah, the the problem is that the game doesn't actually tell us when the other person is in or done their turn. Uh, so we have to like manually tell each other when we act at the same time, which seems to happen a lot. <laughs> like, like so we far, seem to, we seem to act at the same time a lot. <laughs> it doesn't uh, help that we're both impatient. Well, I mean, you're not wrong at all. <laughs> um, okay, so where does my mage hand actually go? 
Oh, it's not in combat. That's interesting. So I'm going to use it to throw this guy. Toss him. Uh, invalid target. What do you mean invalid target? What's going on here? Why can't? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, okay. Well, the okay. I thought it was invalid target, and I was like, okay, I'll cancel that action and do something else. And then my mage hand murdered it. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> the the new features uh, allows you allows them to read your mind. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, I guess so. Uh, all right, okay. So now it's my turn, and my mage hand, I guess, goes last. Yeah, so, looks like he's last a little bit, a uh, little bit behind my crab. That's cool. Um, okay, so I don't have a turn. I guess I'm pretty much done. I can't use my bonus action. All right, yeah, I'm gonna end my stuff. Oh, we didn't go over our character names. We got to do that right after this. Sounds good. Why did my crab not follow me? That seems kind of jerkish. I'm sure it was following you, and it just lagged behind. <laughs> your All crab, right. I love the way your crab moves. They did a good job in that animation. Yeah, I really <laughs> like it. It's uh, <laughs> surprisingly awesome. All right, where yeah. is the other ones? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to gonna hide. Oh, no, I can't hide. So. <laughs> crab can't hide? I'm not going to hide. I'm just going to end my turn. Okay. Ooh. Oh, man, it killed the... The the, the hand has uh, sacrificed himself. Yeah, which is pretty nice of him. Yeah. Um, okay, so Not I'm... Not that he really I'm had a choice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, your turn. I almost went that on is... your turn again. Oh, man. Oh, man. What a jerk, right? Well, that's... Uh, that's just how we're going to do All right, <laughs> go ahead. Okay, yes. So I'm now taking my turn. Being a wizard, I think the best thing to do is run up and stab. That seems leg- <laughs> logical, that, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, you know what? Just take it. Is just... that how wizards work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just take it. Um, and then uh, I think I'm going to run back, so hopefully it attacks you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's attacking oh, me. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. All uh, right. And now Krabby. Oh, it's my Krabs turn. All right. So Mr. Krabs going to do a little uh, pinchy. Oh, that's pretty um, good damage. That was four damage for like a yeah, summoned I mean, creature. Gives that, gives that pinch sta- status too, which is, um, oh, maybe it doesn't have, oh wait, hold on. I'm no, it totally does. Crab. It totally does. Yeah. Pinch. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the enemy. 1d4 piercing damage. Yeah. 1d4 piercing damage at the beginning of each turn and speed is reduced by 1d4. Wait, and speed is reduced by 1d4 piercing damage. <laughs> okay, that, that's an error. <laughs> Yeah, I'll hit you. Wow, you just killed it? I just killed it. Wow. Where well, I th- I like think a, we're like a freaking wizard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, well that's another thing. If you look at the short rest button, there's um uh two little green things below it now. I think you can now do two short rests uh between a long rest instead of one, which actually makes the um uh the warlock probably more powerful than it was. Because that's like one of the big class features of the warlock which this game took away was that you get all your spells back on a short rest and it only allowed one short rest. So it kind of like, where, where did you do the short rest at? I don't think I've ever done it. I think you've always kind of, I, I've always done it. Um, that. Look yeah. at the, the little camp button on the, uh, the top, right. You see the, the button that's like a little campfire. Yes. Okay. Camp and end day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, take a short rest. Yeah, okay, right cool. below that, there's a little thing which, um, to me, looks like a closed eye. I mean, really, it looks like a centipede, honestly. <laughs> well, well, that's not true. Well, I guess we'll never click on it if it looks like a centipede. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I always kind of thought of it as like a closed eye, like, oh, I'm sleepy. I'll take a short rest. So, kind of thing, right? Yeah, I mean, now it has two dots, though, so... Yeah, no, that's it the thing. It, like, it, it had zero... It looks, looks like a, a face. <laughs> um, oh, it kind of does, too, doesn't it? it? There was zero dots before. Like, there was no dots. It was just, you could press it once. Oh, my God. Uh, wow, that was a little bit more explosive than I imagined. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, what I was saying is, um, you, you couldn't... Uh, there was no two dots at all before. It was just... A short rest, and that's it. Like a that's it. Yeah, yeah. It was just like you, you could use it once. Now there's two dots, which we, we haven't tried it yet. I'm just ninety percent sure that you can short rest twice. 
that's pretty sweet. But yeah. Now uh, it no longer looks like an eye; it just looks like a face. What kind of face? I'm trying to. I'm trying to see this face <laughs> you're talking about. Like, what kind of face? Oh, an upside down face. Yeah, and it has two oh, eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a frowny face, which is upside down. You have to mention yeah. that it's upside down. <laughs> well, okay. an upside down face. Well, because I was trying to, you're, you're saying it looked like a face that I was trying to, um, I was trying to see it, and I'm like, shall we level up? And, but then, as soon as, as soon as I, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm just dumb. Okay, it's fine. Nope. <laughs> Everything's all right. <laughs> um. So, do you want to go get uh, Steria and our thief? Ooh, I like that. But I also would like to level up. Oh, that is level, a good idea. The level up button is calling my name. It is. Yeah. No, it sure is. Um, and it's calling my name. Do you, Would you like to go which first? Is, okay. I will go first. Level up. Um, okay. So I'm leveling up my poopy buttholes. Which is the name. I uh, like it. My drow. Oh. Um, okay. So I have passive classes here. Uh, I can do archery, defense, dueling, or two weapon fi- uh, fighting style. Oh, I would say, I mean, definitely archery, right? What, what does the archery do? I mean, I am a ranger. Yeah. Plus two bonus to attack rolls you make with a ranged weapon. Uh, defense gives you plus one bonus to armor class. Uh, dueling. When you're are wielding a melee weapon in one hand and the other hand is empty, you gain a plus two bonus to damage rolls. Um, and two weapon fighting style is an attack with two weapons. You can add your ability modifier to the damage of the offhand attack. Yeah, which does almost nothing. Like it sounds great compared to other games because because you know our first mm-hmm. thought when we both read that I remember we discussed this at the start of the game like I don't know a while ago we were like oh it allows you to dual weed. Dual wield. <laughs> no, it does not allow you to dual weed. Dual wield. Oh, oh man. <laughs> you can always dual wield. All it does, literally, is just adds the proficiency damage to the second attack, which is going to be a difference of like a couple damage when you can actually even use that attack. So it's really not a big deal. I, oh. yeah, I don't think it's as strong as, as possibly you think. Um, so I do get some spells, and currently selected is Speak with Animals. Hashtag Ooh, oh, your favorite. Oh my god, if you take that, I will murder everything you're going to watch. <laughs> Just um, And then, then is uh, Hunter's Mark um, to deal additional piercing damage. Um, and this is... Hold on here. Spells at first level and above require spell slots to cast unless the ability states otherwise. Okay, do I have a limited... So... I haven't really play, played any casters before on this. So does do these they're they're not cantrips, right? So I can only I only have like limited I could only use one of them per short rest. Um which spell? Okay, does is there something that says Well it, it uh, depends so on it depends on what level it is. So if it's called a cantrip, okay. then you can use it uh unlimited amount of times. Everything Yeah, I didn't know if they had cantrips on here i guess is, is the question um, oh yeah I, I don't they definitely have cantrips on this game if that's what you mean okay uh they 100 percent they have cantrips on this game do rangers get cantrips that i'm not sure i've never all actually right. I, i've tried most classes i've never tried a ranger all right fair enough all uh right, what's so. what spell is it and does it say what level it is uh so yeah doing hunter's mark it's level one all my spells are level one here Oh, um, well, then I pretty much guarantee if it's a level one spell, then you're going to only have limited uses, probably like all right. two, two a day two or uses? Two, two, okay. two between rest or something like that. Uh, all right. So I feel like the Hunter's Mark is maybe not as like, it's good, but if I could use it all the time, then yes, but probably not going to be super great. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hail of Thorns seems pretty strong. And uh, it's AoE. What, what does it do again? Uh, so it shoots a volley of thorns, and they deal 1d6 plus 3 piercing damage and explode, dealing an additional 1d10 piercing damage to the target and surrounding creatures. I mean, that does sound cool. Hunter's Mark, though, might be one of those things that you can, like, kind of reuse, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that that's a good question. 
So there's a minus one on the, yeah. Action spell slot plus bonus action, bonus action spell slot. So hail thirds requires, okay, so, oh. So the thing the Hunter's Mark doesn't require a action, it's just a bonus action. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can just like add that on yeah. to anything else you do. That, yeah. Um, so oh. I can do Ensnaring Strike, uh, level one Conjuration Spell. Um, I can do Cure Wounds, Animal Friendship, uh, which is, I don't know, it's cool, but I don't think it's going to be as helpful in this. Uh, fog cloud. I, I would say cure wounds could be useful just because we're not, mm -hmm. we don't like the cleric, right? So we're not going to have the healer. Yeah. Um, so, true. but then again, like you can use food to heal. So it's, it's not super important as long as we have food. Um, mm -hmm. But it, you know, it, it could be nice up to you. Uh, I know you don't like casting healing spells though. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. Yeah. I mean, I honestly, if Hail of Thorns got you all excited and hot and bothered, I'd say just take that. Okay, well, I do have that and I have a second choice and that's where I'm kind of like, what do I want to do? Okay, would you um, ever heal instead of Hail of Thorns? No. Yeah, I don't think you would. So try yeah. to pick any spell that you might use instead of Hail of Thorns. Especially if it's something like uh I don't know, jump or like expeditious retreat or like like a utility spell, something which you won't need often, but when you need it, it's great to have. Okay. Um, yeah, I could have long strider and jump, but I also have hunter's mark, which I I don't know. Well, but would you ever use hunter's mark instead of the thorn one? No, well, That's, probably not. No, yeah, the thorn one exactly. does more damage. So this is what I'm saying. So unless there's something special about that thorn one, which I don't know, um, like it just does a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, like the, does it? Well, does can you like transfer it to another creature after that creature dies, like the warlock one, or no? It doesn't say anything like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, but it is area of effect, which is kind of you know, helpful. The hunter's mark is. Uh no, hail of thorns. Yeah. No, I know. I know hail of thorns is, but but hunter, okay. hunter's mark. I meant. <laughs> oh, Hunter's Mark? Oh, okay. Um, no, it doesn't. Oh! If the target dies before the spell ends, you can use a bonus action to mar mark a new creature. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. So that, All right. So in that that's, case, that's so it is like the uh, it is like the one with the, um, what's it called? Like the, the Hex. It, it, yeah, it's like, uh, it's like Hex. Or, uh, called Hex? Is that literally the name? I can't remember. I think it is. I believe it was, yes, yes. Yeah, it's like the hacks with the warlock, where once the creature dies, you can keep using it. So it's like, it's pretty cool. Um, so so in that case, yeah, that that might actually be better. Yeah, I, uh, I so I chose the two if you want to um, level up. Level up, yeah. All right, let's see what we got. Oh man, so I I <laughs> I, uh, I I reconjured up my grab because I thought like hopefully that I I get more hit points on it. It still has two hit points. And um, my other crab is like went into like a bloody mess. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel terrible. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I love it. That's so good. Uh, okay. So, all right. So, w kind of what I'm going for with with this is I'm not worried about having too much hit points or too much armor because you can use food to heal, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So even though I don't have a lot of hit points, it's okay, I think. So I'm definitely not going to take Abjuration, which is the one where, like, you summon a boar, uh, you get, like, extra armor and whatever when you cast an armor spell. So I'm going to go for the Evocation one this time. Um, okay. So what that's supposed to do is allow me to sculpt spells, which I create a pocket of safety Ooh. within my Evocation spells. Allied creatures automatically succeed my saving throws and take no damage so i should be able to use area effect spells um on you and not hurt you which makes me happy and sad at the same time <laughs> oh oh well, you know what that's actually yeah probably pretty good yes it is yeah i mean because i want to we I've, actually decide to you know mm -hmm. do teamwork Oop. yeah which which doesn't seem likely but you never know <laughs> yeah you might, might have a little surprise here and yeah uh Okay, so I am going to take Thunder Wave then. Even though Thunder Wave isn't great, 
Um, it pushes away enemies and stuff. Uh, and uh, in, in theory, I guess it won't affect you. Okay. Um, so I'm taking sleep. Well, we probably shouldn't be right next to each other when fighting, but... Um, well, we're both... Okay, that's true. We're both yeah. ranged, yeah. Yeah, although I'm, I'm kind of like... I'm I'm currently not ranged because I'm, I'm using my, my swords and stuff, right? True. Um, You're more of a, of, a, of a creamer, half and half. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good old... It's the, the creamer build. <laughs> good old Australian half and half, yeah. Um, okay. So, what's a good spell? Burning hands? Only if I can use it on you. Um, oh. oh. <laughs> Magic missile's a good one. Uh, familiar could be interesting. Um, Is it um, find familiar? Yeah, find familiar, but it's it's okay. Unlike, so that's what I have. Yeah, but yours is yours is different. Yours is a special ability, um, so you can continuously cast it. Mine is a spell; it takes up one of my spell slots. So, okay, if I lose that creature or it's damaged or whatever, I, I break concentration, um, it's gone. So, Ooh. Uh, yeah, no, it's not nearly as good as yours. I don't think. Well, it doesn't say concentration okay. required now. Maybe it isn't. Interesting. Either way, if it dies, I have to cast it again. Unlike yours. Well, yours yours is the Oh my god, I'm just... I'm going crazy. Yours is the same. If you die, you have to cast it again. But you can cast it an unlimited amount of times. Unlike mine. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. So oh, so if it says spell slot on the, um, on the spell, it means that you have those limited amounts. And I don't know if I had this before because I don't remember being, being this on any kind of magic. But um, next to the timer now, there is two spell slots, which tell you like how, how many spells you have left. That was there before, yeah. Okay, well, all right. It's cool uh, to me because I've never seen it before. <laughs> yeah, no, no it, is, it, it is. It's cool. Like, so it, now, now that all makes more sense to me. And, yeah, but uh, the system they have for that is, is not too bad. Um, just trying to think if I should take, I don't know, protection from good and evil can be really good. Um, or can be really evil. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's, that's absolutely true. I cannot refute that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, I think I'm, I'm just going to go with burning hands, magic okay. missile and burning hands. Um, Okay. That sounds delightful. Change my spells. So, should I take jump or not? I mean, I don't think I need jump. Um, magic missile. Oh, God. Grease is so good. Sleep is so good. I don't want to get rid of either of them. Hmm. Uh, but I don't think I could take burning hands right now. Okay. Well, yeah. Would you rather are, I... Are you... Go ahead. Are you, are you, are, or I was going to say, are you going to keep grease or sleep? I'm going to have grease and sleep. Oh, okay. I'm going to make you sleep all greasy like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so just like every night. Yeah, just like, just like usual. You know, it's all good. Um, okay, cool. Wait, all right, what is good. this? Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm going I'm to save the game. This is a, this is a very good plan. All right. Learn. Of goodness. Um, okay. So we go up here. Um, what is your character's strength? Uh, that's a good question. Because um, I know that there is a little secret down here, but I think you need a strength of uh, higher than 14, like maybe 16 to get it. Okay. Well, how do I tell? Um, oh, you go to the character tab, toggle character panel. Character, sh okay. There's a there's a there's a character. Oh, shape. okay. There we are. Uh, strength of twelve. Okay, my strength also twelve, so we cannot get it in, unless we get the Gith Yankee woman and then come back. All right, fair enough. Because she is strong. We are not strong. Um, oh, so we'll oh, get as 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 acetone or whatever. <laughs> <It's over here. laughs> acetone. Yeah, uh, Mister <laughs> Abrasive. Do you wanna do you wanna go up and talk to him, or do you want me to? Um, I, all right, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go talk to him. Yeah, probably have more charisma than you. Well, I mean, <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I, 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 
honestly don't know. Uh, yeah, you probably do. My charisma's nine. I set it as my lowest stat because I thought my character would be super ugly. Fair enough. Um, In the grass, and it turns out I, I think I'm kind of handsome. Like you the <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, all right. Um, oh man, you have man, to. Should you, it be a show off? I want to. I want to I... pause. I want to pause. You okay. absolutely have to go in the character thing and toggle off that helmet because your character's hair is beautiful. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Uh, once once that kind of came in, uh, I was like, yeah, I mean, we, that needs to be off. That I mean, the helmet doesn't look bad, but your character uh, has has gorgeous hair. So, gorgeous yeah. flaming red locks on a are, beautiful are you, drow woman. Am I drooling? Be... Yes. All right. <laughs> I was going to ask if you had a drow finish. <laughs> <laughs> um, no comment. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Um, easily, I'll stand back. Or you stand back. I'll stand back. <laughs> I'll stand back. <laughs> Can you see it? Da, da, da. And then, shink. Oh, that looks Just like a pig. a dumb ball. You're relieved. Until you see the flash of a dagger. I like how it's Ooh. like floating in, floating in front of his yeah. hand. <laughs> um, okay. Well, well, well on, on your screen, it was also floating in front of his hand, like he wasn't holding it, right? Uh, I actually was looking at the words, so I didn't catch. It. Oh, okay. Yeah, on my screen. Yeah, my my, my my eyes go to like one spot. Okay. And it's it's, it's like it's hard to catch anything else. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's um, what they they counted on happening because in mine, like his uh, hand hopefully. was flat, <laughs> and the dagger was floating like an inch off of his hand. <laughs> Nice. Um, so, what do you think? I mean, I'll let you let you put in uh, your input. Well, what what do you? What's your what? What kind of character you're going for? I mean, your your halfling was like an animal murderer. Mm. Are you nicer now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. No. Okay. No. Um, I'd say yeah. Just go like put it away. We don't need to fight. Okay. Wait. Put it away. It's not letting me vote. Don't need to fight. Oh. I See the floating dagger? Free. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is definitely floating. <laughs> I mean, it looks nice. Touch. Like, good graphics. It's just Those a little... Yeah, it's just... A little unfortunate. Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes. I mean, would you rather have him not quite grabbing it and his fingers clipping through it, or it just floating in front of his hand? But it fades yeah, I definitely would go for the... I would definitely go for the floater. Is better than like a little bit of clipping. <laughs> really? What was that? What's going on? Yeah. Okay, you don't like clipping, I guess, eh? Hey? Because your ears, I don't are, like your clipping, ears no. are clipping through that helmet. Yeah, they are. Yeah. That's okay. Oh. Thanks. Um, <laughs> now that you've seen that. Ah, uh, goddammit. <laughs> oh, by the way, yeah, we we noticed a really fun glitch. We'll have to remember after this to show uh, our viewer that. Um, uh, my swords are like poking through my head, like I'm holding them th through <laughs> through my head. So we'll have to check that out. See, that's been fantastic. Yeah. Um. All right. Put the knife away, and I'll tell you everything. I'm not an idiot. It has to be those tentacled monsters. Something they did. Oh, really? They Testicle. Took you too. I saw it during whatever just happened. <laughs> Wait, and what? <laughs> I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> it's a different type of scary. Yeah. Okay. Um. Either one or two. Either apology yeah, accepted yeah. or glad to see we're caught up now. Yeah, I think um, glad to see we're call caught up. Now. Indeed we are. Please allow me to introduce myself. And I'm pretty sure. My name's Astarian. Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate. Astarian. Snatch me. My name's Astarian. Okay, I will um, introduce A myself. Pleasure. Okay. Oh, are you not from Baldur's Gate? So. Oh, interesting. Um, about these worms. I guess if you're Drow or maybe a Gith Yankee, you're not from Baldur's Gate. I I I played through this with a Tiefling. And I was able to say, I'm from Baldur's Gate. It was like an option. Okay. I guess we're uh, not, or I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, unfortunately, they'll turn us into mind players. Turn us into...
That's really good, um, really good, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, what else did I face animation. Voice? Oh, face animation. I mean, voice acting good too, right? But like, yeah. the, the I mean, voice. compared to us, it's... <laughs> well, obviously, like, anything's good compared to us. <laughs> but, uh, like, his expressions. Like, particularly, I think, on Asterion has some of the best expressions I've seen on this game. So whoever, whichever artist was in charge of that did a really good job. Not that I'm saying yeah. the other ones aren't aren't pretty good. Oh, there's a lot of good, really good effects. Yeah, there I, are. I, yeah, I think it's yeah. it's all. Um, you should travel with me. Our odds are better together. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem. He's got sharp teeth. Oh my god, sharp teeth. Maybe he's a right. heathling. <laughs> <laughs> the pale elf. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's like a pale elf. Uh, wait, wait, pa quick, pause the game. First turn. Oh. There's a there's a boar here. Do you want to kill it and get a boar's head? Uh, yes. Where's that boar? Yes, is, yes boar. is the right answer. It's right here. <laughs> stab, stab. Okay. I just I, guess you should I, care. I just killed it. How much experience did we get? Three experience. Okay, I'll take it. All right. I'll also take the boar's head. <laughs> hey. I mean, I, right. I like animals. Oh yeah, we, we should have talked with it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Why didn't I take talk with animals? <laughs> so, what do you think? Do you wanna? Do you wanna? Um. Oh man, I guess we have to go through here, don't we? Yeah, we do. Okay. Um. Do you want to see if we can go and grab uh, uh, the fighter lady and then come back and get this little secret down here? Okay, that's smart. We're probably going to forget. <laughs> probably. Probably. Okay. That's the most likely thing, but let's grab the fighter lady anyways. Oh, where are you going? Uh, down here. Like, where else would you go? Oh, okay. Survivors? I don't know. You're, uh, to you might want to attach your character. I, I gave oh. You, uh, oh, you gave me uh, Asteria. Oh, you don't want him. Well, I don't want him. I want the fighter. Oh, you want the fighter? Yeah. Okay. Us, yeah. us women, uh, us women stick together. Uh, the dude power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I'll take us there in so, for sure. So, okay. so, so misogynistic. Yeah. Okay. So I'm leveling him up. I have no choices. I just accept it. Everything's fine. All right. You you accepted your fate. Um. Yeah. Like whichever way we go, it leads into this room. That's why I was going this way. Ah. Uh, okay. Um, They're trying to dig somebody out so, of the so should we talk to them? I guess. Do you remember what happened last time? What happened last time? Yeah, they uh, they were not the most keen on us because they had mind flares. Yeah. So what we could do is just do this. Oh, I mean, I guess. Ooh, that's a lot of experience. How much did we get? Sixty-five experience. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I wish we could. That was pause like this. far more experience than. Yeah. I wish we could pause this cutscene. Okay, so yeah, I want to talk about that briefly because that's another thing that they they said they changed in the hot fix, which is another thing that we were bitching about. Um, was now if you choose to kill people less, you still get an equal amount of experience. So like a different type of problem solving. Before and trust me, I tried. If you if you played through this and you didn't kill all of these uh, fishermen, you actually just got less experience. Like you got more experience for killing them. Now you get an equal, possibly more amount of experience for saving them. Okay, because I remember when we were when the, the, there was that like trap, um, and we like decided to talk our way out of it. And then, like, we got, like, no experience. Exactly. They just left and we got yeah, no experience. Yeah, and I was like, like, what? Yeah, I kind of felt like that didn't feel right. So Yeah, you felt like you got gypped, right? You kind of wanted to... I think we actually... Did we reload load the game and kill them, or we just let them go? No, we just let them go. Yeah, because I know I definitely played through that same thing, and I, I failed the role, and I had to fight them, and I got a bunch of experience from them. So... And I got, like, the loot that they had, right? So, like, definitely... It like motivated you to kill instead of alternate problem solving, um, which I was like, that's not great, especially for like a next generation game. That's like a bit of an oversight, I think. Yeah, yeah. So I'm glad that they uh, possibly fixed that. So. Yeah, so I'm I'm really excited that because uh, I missed it that just for walking up and killing the mind flayer while these people were being controlled, we actually got a bunch of experience. So that's really cool. It weren't our fault. We heard something calling out from the wreckage. It 
It sounded like I think this is the first time I haven't killed any of these people. She's been dead for years. Uh, uh, congratulations. Yeah, congratulations on your murdering slightly less. <laughs> what do we do now? Uh, what do you want me to say? Are you listening in? I am listening in. Um, this is what I want you to say. Wait, okay. <laughs> oh, lively pens. Oh, yes. I see. You know, I actually saw that thing. I saw like a four with like a lively pens. Oh. That was, uh, and you're like, what is this? I, I was like, I was like, what is this strange glitch here? And I'm like, oh, it's just <laughs> you being a jerk. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to say, uh, first things first, where are we? We're nowhere. That's the point. Even with a bolt, Baldur's Gate is days. Wait. You. I can feel you. With consent. Like <laughs> I feel you with consent. You to this guy, his face acting and stuff, like the voice acting is great, but his face, facial expressions are, are not as good, in my opinion, as Asterian. Which makes sense, mm -hmm. right? Asterian's like a main character. He's right? kind of more like a, a, a side... Yeah, but they're uh, still like, they're like, like yeah. still pretty good though, like still, mm -hmm. uh, still pretty good. So calm down. They abducted me, but I escaped. There's something in, something your, in head. your head. Please, we'll take our chances out here. Just, just leave us be. How would you know there's something in my head? Like that seems suspicious. They they sense they didn't they like sense it? But like like so they they developed psionic powers because they were controlled by a mind flayer. Is that what we're saying? No. That might be. Uh, that seems to be what it's implying, uh, which is mm. which is worrying to say the least. Um, it is okay. But that's yeah. fine. Let's and just. I got my red hair back. So you got your red hair back. Oh yay! Okay. Next time we get a cutscene, we'll be able to see a close up of your beautiful red hair. In theory. Uh, in theory, yes. Um. Okay. So. Uh, Ooh, it's a dead goblin. Ooh. The best kind of goblin. <laughs> okay, so up here is where we meet the wizard dude. All right. Um, do I guess we're not going to be taking the wizard with us? Well, we already have a wizard. Well, I guess we can we can let him join us. I I, I still remember the time that Asterion like attacked us in the camp, and I still don't understand why that happened. That was really weird. The, uh, right. Hopefully. So let's let's get the wizard. Let's let's get him to join our party, but then we'll just tell him to wait in camp. Okay. If that's cool. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll let you. Oh, that. I got too close. Ah, I was gonna let you do this one. Damn it. Oh, that's unexpected. I like. I was running backwards, and he like popped you, out and grabbed me. An intellect devourer nibbling at your He's uh. Glad to see my eyes deceive me. See, I like his face, but I feel like it's less animated. Mm -hmm. um, he, this guy is one of my favorite characters, very... though. Like, I really like a lot of stuff about him. Um, but, but no, you had to play the wizard, so we can't. Well, no, we could have him. If you want a wizard, so go ahead. <laughs> double wizard? Double wizarding? Very same. A traumatizing experience, if an instructive one. Not quite in the mood for flippant answers. I don't know. Am I? <laughs> I like the way I, uh, my character looks, aren't I? I'm, he does, yeah. He yeah, looks nice. it's interesting. Um, Got a lot of hair gel in there. That's yes. oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, it's all about tadpole, which will end with our all about you know hair hair gel and ocular penetration. Not to mention, that's um me like a rashimi at a blackboard. You're no you're wizard, wizard are you? you? Okay, let's kill this guy. Oh, wizard. Man. I am I a wizard, you douchebag. <laughs> of weave about you, but it's a mere breeze. I need a tempest. Okay, I hate and this I'll guy. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's go ocular penetrate him. Insertion of the parasite. Um, <laughs> ocular insertion. Oh, speaking of ocular insertion, I've still forgot to show um, our our viewer my swords in my eyes. Uh, well, we'll have to true. get to that. Um. I recall it vividly. You yes. Know what happens next? It is to be it's avoided. To be avoided. I assume you're no accomplished healer either. Powerful cleric, maybe. Man, no, this one. guy is so whiny. <laughs> Why did I like him? Uh, why can't oh, you just use magic? My studies of the arcane <laughs> hold for the foreseeable future. This is beyond me. 
Yeah, because you've got a mere For now. whiff of weed. <laughs> we need help. I'm not sure where we'll find it in this wilderness. How about we embark on the quest for a healer together? Yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want me to take him or not take him? Uh, I want to take... Uh... I don't want to take him now. I feel like being a wizard, he's like, he's ruffled my feathers the wrong way, which is probably what's that, supposed yeah. to happen. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's, um, let's ruffle his feathers. You okay. Certain? A wizard is a mighty weapon to have in your own. Oh, is yeah, he saying you're not a I wizard? I know, you jerk. <laughs> you're quite significant loss. Oof. Yeah. Go away, weirdo. Is he gone? Um, I don't see him. Okay, well, he'll be gone soon. As I attack him. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, okay, it is um my turn. Looks like it. Yeah, why not? Ooh, well, that wasn't very much. I'll head on up. And go for oh, my crab goes next, okay. Yeah, you and Krabby for the win. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well can't quite get there. But I'll get close. You'll get close. And then he drinks a healing potion. Man, we could have looted that. <laughs> Should have hit He's a wizard, and he just runs up. And oh man, do you not realize I'm a get Yankee? Oh my god! You come up with me with your staff. I'll come at you with this. Oh. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. <laughs> god damn it! Careful! Don't stay too close to him. Oh, he healed. Oh, this guy healed. He heals in the Necrotic Aura, I think. Wait, stop following me. Stop. Okay. Did he heal or did he take damage? Oh, he took damage. It's green, but he took it. I uh, have nowhere to do it. I'm, on, I'm in a cutscene right now, so I'm very... Are you in a cutscene? Oh, okay. You may rest I've actually never seen those before. Not it's like... I trust I've made myself clear. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we, okay. we killed him, and now he's talking to us. Yes. Or uh, or is he dead? What what just happened to the cutscene? Uh, yeah, he, he's dead and he's talking to me. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah. How am I supposed to bring you back to life? I have upon my deceased person a magical item that can accomplish my return. But such is the value and rarity that it is protected by a multi-layered security protocol. Password is I will one, two, three. Okay. Step one is to retrieve from my person a pouch I wear over my heart. Okay. I'm not going to help you, you with this, but you can do it. Purple seam that All right. Seals it in a counterclockwise fashion. Oh my god. Do not touch any uh, other colored strand. That's kind of cool though. Inside hey, your character is really good looking. Folded letter and a tiny flute. I I'm, I'm fold the letter and I, I'm proud, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. And bottom corners. These are the notes you will need to play. Okay, did Start you catch that? Bottom right. Play the notes in no. order, <laughs> clockwise this time. Oh my god. On completion of the tune, a magma method will appear, which will pose the following question. Iskcha Chisnaga. This is very complicated this instructions. This is ignorant for what is my name. The answer is Kasi Trak Ash. Well, that's pretty Pronounce clear. Pronounce the name correctly, and the method will breathe on the letter. Stay clear, because the little scamp can melt metal. Okay. Words will now appear on the letter's surface. Effectively, it's still not done. The into a scroll <laughs> of true resurrection. Oh my god. Use it to bring me back to life. Don't we have a scroll of revivify we can just use? We can, but then we won't get this scroll of resurrection. <sighs> <sighs> Fine, I promise I will do so. Now repeat my instructions back to me. Please. Oh god. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. This is the best thing ever. Oh my god. Uh, Are you kidding me? Absolutely I'm not. I'm to try your patience. I simply need to be absolutely certain you understand. Um, step one. Cut a hole in the pouch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, purple. Yes, the purple right. seed. You then have access to the letter and the flute. Go on. Alright. Uh, um... I think it was the bottom left corner, do you remember? Or are you not here? 
Um, I'm not going to help you. <laughs> oh, God. No, no, no. You start bottom right corner. Yeah. I actually, would, I actually have, I've seen this before. After that? Okay. I should say, oh, these names don't sell, sound similar at all. That's yeah. not even close. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Trach. Oh, Pay this is great. To the part. Oh no! Uh, back of the throat. Maybe we should invite this and guy to so our party. Because uh, he's again. torturing me. Because he's torturing That's you. I like him again. <laughs> Best of luck with the protocol. May my cold, dead hands soon be refilled <laughs> with the warmth of life, so they can shake yours in gratitude. Yeah, he oh, is God. definitely on the spectrum. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, understatement. Oh my goodness. Are you gonna try it? What are you uh, doing? Why are you going there? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting my, my portal thing. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Why not? Okay. Uh, don't don't All stand right. too close to him. No, like walk away. You're you're dying right now. Oh. Yeah, you're you're dying. Uh, your crab's gonna die too. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, crab. Um, and okay. there goes your crab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so I don't even know how to get, so how do I grab his stuff? Just go up to him and grab it quickly and then leave. Oh, okay. I got you. You don't, you don't, don't continue standing next to him. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, he's sneaky. Ooh, I like it. Oops. Okay. Inventory pouch. Let's, uh. Oh yeah. He's like, is that tiger I print open? underwear? <laughs> <laughs> it's either tiger print underwear or like some type of. Like crocodile skin. That's my like crocodile skin underwear. That's pretty cool. That that is expensive underwear. Yeah, I definitely like this guy. <laughs> That's like some uh, some Hermes shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to um, to listen into you again. No, no. Okay. Whatever was happening is, is stopped. I can't listen in. What, what are you doing? All right. Uh, so I opened the 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 pouch. Okay. Uh, do I need a what? So I don't have a noose. Oh, there you go. Okay. I can take stuff from the pouch now. Okay. A scroll and a boot. Okay. Read. One in every corner. Okay. Oh my god. This is amazing. The top right corner. So you have, to, you have to unstitch the thing. And then you have yeah. to get a scroll. Read, uh, read the notes. Is... Play the notes on the flute. Which will summon a method. And then he'll ask you a question. You have to give the right coded answer. And then... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! Uh, oh, good. I failed my ditty. I think you can try again. Hopefully. All right. Uh, so I <laughs> is it, inspiration it, point. Is it multiple? But again? you know what? I'll go for it. Nineteen. There you go. Performance check succeeded. So, as the the map is right, preparing. Ready to play individual notes. Okay. Lady. Also, before this patch, um, when you could do a reroll, it didn't actually tell you you were using an inspiration point. So I didn't actually mm -hmm. know why sometimes it's like, oh, the option to reroll has popped up. Why did that pop up? Um, and yeah, I know it's, it's because of the inspiration point, but I had no idea. Okay, okay there's a guy. I'm going to try joining in. Ooh, interesting. He's great. Ah. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I'll just call him by his real name. Yeah, I'm listening in. Or no. Okay. Oh, are you talking you with don't him? Don't understand what he's saying. Yeah. Oh. All right. Did, so, did it turn into a resurrection scroll? It uh, disappeared. Did uh, maybe it's in my thing? Oh, scroll of resurrection. Okay, cool. Oh, really? There you go. Yep. Uh, cool. Scroll of True Resurrection. Okay. Cool. Okay. Well, don't use it. You what? use one of the scrolls of Revivify. I don't know. It's up to you. It says it's only worth okay. 100. It's up to you. Do you want to use this on him or do you want to use a scroll of Revivify on him? They're both worth 100. Yeah, they're both the same. So, okay. Revive a companion, resurrect a companion. They return to life with all their hit points. They return to life with one hit points. No, keep the, keep the scroll. Keep his scroll. Don't use it. Okay. His scroll brings you brings someone back with full hit points, so we should keep oh, we should okay. keep that for like an emergency. 
That's pretty cool, actually. Um, but it says the target is invalid. <laughs> I'm trying to reserve. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Oh, because he's not a companion. I get. I don't know. It's, oh, interesting. Mm. Oh, okay. Here, I'll put it back in your inventory. Try using. I guess you could try using that. You want to save? You know what? Save. Let's save. Yeah, let's save. Um, I think that uh, might be the the best thing to do. I think it assumes that you don't just like tell him not to join your party and then attack him. <laughs> it's like they haven't figured this one out. <laughs> All right. Uh, should, should I load? I don't know. I can't do anything with it. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think it might be because he's not a companion. So you can only use oh, this okay. on companion. So we just got a free scroll and we can't resurrect him. Heck yeah. I mean, it, it took a little bit of my sanity. The, oh, yeah, well. <laughs> We're not talking about your character's sanity. Like yours. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. That's funny. Um, okay, so yeah, okay. Well, I mean, I guess that's done. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, so we, we won? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, we, we did a, so a we, little generous. <laughs> we did a thing. What did you just eat? Uh, I only had like three hit points left, so. Must have been here a while. I drink a potion. Oh, okay. Um, poor net trap. Oh, yeah. Not much use anymore. Uh, all right, yeah. So let's go get the uh, the fighter lady. She's up here. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, ooh, I'll let you talk to these people. I almost got too close again. God damn it. Oh man. Maybe we would still have Gale in our party if you talked to her Get instead of me. The thing's dangerous. <laughs> Leave it for the well. villains to kill. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot skin. Yeah, she is not pretty. Her lips don't move. Yet oh, no, she's not bad looking, voice. actually. But Yeah, I mean. You again. Get all right. rid of them. I'd, I'd, you know, might be a paper bag thing, but <laughs> I'd, I'd still. Under elf. She's got a good body. Yeah. No, <laughs> messer. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. so intimidation I'm or attack. To, wow, you yeah. only have two choices. Is that because you're a drow? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, um, that's weird. So, okay. if you value your life, walk away. Oh, okay. Well, at least it's a pretty easy roll that I'm probably going to fail. All right. <laughs> you succeeded. Amaze. Come, I miss her. Now. now. Is that the first thing you said to them? Get me yeah. down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, say please. Never. <laughs> uh, uh, should we attack these people? Observe and listen. Um, you hear goblins before you see them. I don't know. As you say. No, I mean, because uh, I can attack them now. No. No, no. It's, uh, okay. Let's. Let's. Uh, okay. No attackies. Yeah, no, no attack. Let's not go too crazy. Yeah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> He's just gonna like take forever to shoot arrows at the weekend. Okay, I'm just gonna come cut her down. My God. <laughs> uh, there you go. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You're the welcome. I actually wasn't doing any damage. No, you weren't doing any. Which makes sense. Jeez. I mean, how do you like? Bust open a cage with arrows. That'd be incredible. Consumes. You will join me. We must find big heavy arrows. <laughs> I don't know. I guess so. Uh, get the Yankee. Locating crash would be wise indeed. Where we may find one. I welcome our alliance, kin. We will seek out a crash. Okay. You have made we will crash it. Clear. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. Lizzie. Lizzie. We always say her One name. We say all the names wrong. Uh, that's that's fair. I think that's just the, the signature we'll move by us. Yeah. Where he has seen my kin. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, have you seen my kin? All right. So, oh, she's assigned to mm -hmm. me. I, it makes sense. I talked to her. So I guess you have to take. Oh, you have yeah. to take her. I'll let you level her up. All right. Sounds good. I will. I will be that. I will. I will take on that responsibility. Oh, so let me know when you take it. Leveling it up. Right. Okay. Oh, look! They changed the animation. My standing animation. I don't have my swords in my eyes anymore. Oh, uh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh man, we'll have to. You know what? Let's, if you can, insert a clip from the the trial video we did. Old one. Yeah, if you can. All right, sounds good. 
Yeah, no, they, they changed that. They had terrible issue, like, right after the patch was released. Where, like, when we were shooting our bows, we would actually throw rocks instead. <laughs> it yes. would do piercing damage, but the, a the animation was like throwing a rock. And when I when I held these two swords, I was holding them up, um, like, in a boxer stance, and the blades were both penetrating my head. <laughs> uh, that, that Maybe that's what the ocular penetration there is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm kind of sad that they fixed it, but I'm also kind of glad. Um all right, so now we can go down and grab that secret thing if you want. Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's go down and grab that secret thing. All right. Because I want. Want to just walk through the fire and take damage? Because that's what I want to do. Mm. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, man, I might actually die from this. I took seven damage from walking through that fire. Holy moly. <laughs> you can just that's jump insane. over it. I just didn't. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Did you jump over it? Yeah, look at yeah, and my character, uh, or sorry, my companion did ally too. jumped over it as well. That's very handy. It is handy, yeah. It's clever. All right. Um. So yeah. So you go down. I guess we could both jump down actually, because you have to see it. Um. So come come down here. Follow where I am. Uh, and there's like a different looking, different colored looking rock over here. So you have to pass okay. two things. You have to be strong enough to move the rock. And you have to pass a perception check to notice it's movable. Deep grooves in the mud. Okay. Or a nature check, I guess. So I'm, I made the okay, nature you're check. Down there. I see you now. Yeah, I can't move I it because it's not enough strength. Okay. Um, let's see, my, my mage hand. Uh, yeah, my mage hand can't move it either. Not enough strength. I mean, it makes sense, right? Well, I suppose it is. Well, my mage hand is, has a strength, I'm sure, of less than 12, which is my strength. I can't move it. So. It's, it's removing small stuff. But anyway, you can you can go move that. No, you don't have to jump here. Just walk. Good lord. No, I wouldn't jump. All right. <laughs> so just, like, grab it and drag throw it. Item? Drag it wherever you want. Okay. You don't have to throw it. Oh, my God. Don't throw it. <laughs> okay, well, at least... That's, that's, all, that's the only option I have. There you go. What? No, you can just, like like... Click on it with the mouse and drag it and put it wherever you want. Oh, well. Eh. Try Boring. it. Just pra practice it. Because. Okay. You're, you're terrifying. Oh, no, my God. Oh, now I'm, I'm in the rock. <laughs> okay. Hopefully you're also dead. <laughs> oh. Uh, Probably. Uh, what did we get? Anything good? Yeah. Tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. Okay. Oh, there she is. Okay. A notebook, gold, a map. And a ruby. Yeah, and the ruby's worth 1,600 gold. Whoa. Yeah. Ooh, cash. Oh, all the, the fisher people are Cache. down here. Cool. Well, the map is like a little, uh, little treasure map. Yeah. So I don't know what the treasure map leads to, but at least now we have it. So that's pretty well, exciting. Probably treasure. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, so we have that. That's done. Uh, now we can choose which direction we want to go. Do you want to go um, to, like, the, the underground lair where it has, like, the fire trap stuff, or do you want to go somewhere else first? Ooh, good crash. question, but maybe we can answer that next episode? I think that's a good plan, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so next, next episode we will decide... Uh, if we want to go, like I'm, I'm okay looting the underground tunnel, uh, place thing if we want. Um, I, I don't want to go to the Druid place yet though. Okay. Uh, well, we will we will count our options. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. See you guys later. Bye.